So I had a couple projects in mind when I was shopping um, because I find that so much easier when you kind of know what you want to make. Um, I find going in with no plan at all, I like just cannot focus and cannot figure out what I want to buy. So I'm going to kind of show you the yarn, the colours and then what I'm going to make because most of the things I'm going to make with these yarns are based off stuff I've already made. Um, first is, I bought this a while ago but I just wanted to include it because it's in an upcoming video um, that I'm making. So I bought these um, bamboo cottons. I got them in packs of 10 and I bought two packs so I got 20 of these little balls for $30 I think which is absolute bargain um, because normally they're like $7 each which is just ridiculous for this tiny teeny little amount of yarn. I got a four pack of this um, cotton, just like kind of generic cotton yarn um, and it had two other colours in it with the pack but I've already used the other two colours for something but I just wanted to include these because they're also in an upcoming video but um, yeah some very full autumnal colours even though we're going into summer in Australia so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay but now on to like actually what I bought just recently. I put it in this cute little box. <laughs> I bought a four pack of this bamboo cotton blend. It's actually the same brand as this little one. It's actually a bit thinner though. In these like I would call them like jewel tones colours. So we've got like an icy blue, a deep purple, a mustard, oh, it's actually almost gold, and a darkish purpley blue. I'm very excited to use these. They feel really nice. I like working with bamboo. I've only just started working with bamboo, but it's pretty nice. So I have a couple ideas for what I want to make with these yarns. Um, when I was just on holiday recently, I made a bikini, so here's the bottoms, I have to weave in all the ends, so just ignore that, but here's the bikini bottom, and then the top is just like a regular like triangle string bikini, I also have to weave in all the ends in that, but that was really fun, this is 100% cotton, I was going to line it, but I'm not sure, it should be alright by itself, so that's one idea I have for these. Um, Here's another bikini bottom that I made. This was the first one that I made to kind of test my pattern. So I haven't decided if I want to make like bikinis with those cottons or a top like this. This is 100% cotton as well, but the bamboo will work just fine. This one's really cute. I really like how this one turned out. The white and the purple stripe look really cute together. I was kind of thinking do two tops like that purple one and do the two blues and then the purple and the gold. I feel like that will look really cute. The next thing I got was two like bundle packs of yarn. This is actually the wrong colours. There we go. These were the colours that they came in. So I got this pack which has like this green colour, a white colour and then this orange. And then this pack is like an autumnal vibe. Khaki, pumpkin, mustard kind of colours. They came in tubes but like plastic tubes but I've already taken them out because they're a bit of a hassle. Previously with this same brand of yarn but in different colorway I made this skirt. It's like grey, blue and teal striped with little shell beads on the end. So I'm gonna weigh this and see how much yarn this took up because I bought two of the tubes when I did this skirt and I cannot remember if I used two or just one. So the plan for these is to make skirts with each three of them and do striped like this. I actually kind of want to add some like star appliques and stuff like that. I'm going to do a video on this because I've had people asking me about my skirts so that's very exciting. I also wanted to show you I bought another pack of these a while ago in a different colorway and I just wanted to show you what I made with that. I made some shorts and to me it's like pinata colors. Also I'm trialing with making bigger sizes. This is like I would say a medium. And I usually wear a size small, so I'm just trying to make a few things that are a bit bigger sizes. So when I'm selling things, I'm not just doing everything in an extra small and a small. So, yeah, but I really love how these turned out. I'm going to add one more row because they're a tiny bit short. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I might do a tutorial for these as well because they're like granny square stitch. That was really fun to make, though. I made them while I was on holiday. 
Um, I also just recently made this skirt. It's a granny square skirt. Also trialing this in a bigger size. I've made other granny square skirts in a size small and I wanted to try and see if I could translate the pattern to a medium. It did pretty well and I'm pretty happy with this. And the colorway is so cute, like pastel rainbow. But yeah, so I'm gonna have these listed on my Depop soon. I'm also working on a website, so we'll get there. I'm tempted to order some more cotton to make some more skirts like that, but I'm just gonna work with what I've got first and then we'll do some. Cause after I finish using up these crochet cottons that I've got, I wanna do some sewing stuff. So I wanna have some room for sewn stuff as well. Okay, but that is it for my yarn and fabric haul and showing you what I'm going to make with everything. Um, I will film videos for everything. I'm very excited to show you all that I have planned. I have so many ideas. I'm just so excited. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long and too talky, but yeah, bye!